now let's see about uh, allocation methods or file allocation methods generally files are stored in secondary storage devices such as hard disk so file allocation methods allows the operating system to allow the hard disk space for the files so that uh, the hard disk space can be used in effective manner as well as the files can be accessed in a faster manner so here uh, by using file allocation methods operating system allocates disk space for the files here operating system allocates the space for the files by keeping two points in mind the first one is uh, in order to utilize the hard disk space in efficient manner and the second goal is uh, so that the files can be accessed in a faster manner so by keeping these two goals in mind operating system allocates space for the files uh, there are three types of file allocation methods are available first one is contiguous allocation second one is linked allocation third one is indexed allocation uh, so let's see the first one contiguous allocation uh, the name itself specifies the meaning so in this approach a set of contiguous blocks will be allocated for a file uh, let here uh, let the size of a block is uh, 2 kb size of a block is 2 kb uh, let file name is a uh, let size of a file is uh, 20 kb so what is the size of each block 2 kb uh, whereas what is the size of our file 20 kb so if you use just continuous allocation then totally 10 blocks needs to be allocated for A. 10 contiguous blocks needs to be allocated for A. Uh, let us assume that uh, the size of each block is 1 kb. Then 20 contiguous blocks needs to be <coughs> allocated for the file name. Okay? Uh, so this is about contiguous allocation. Uh, so this is the hard disk as well as this one is nothing but file allocation table. Uh, so in hard disk we have uh, uh, totally 12 blocks. Uh, ranging from 0 to 11 uh, okay so totally we have how many blocks 12 blocks okay so this is nothing but file allocation table so file allocation table contains the information about each and every file that is stored in the secondary storage that is nothing but hard disk uh, it mainly contains three columns the first column is name of the file second column is starting block number and the third column is length of that uh, file okay so here the first file name is a starting block is one so that means uh, this is the block and what is the length of this a three blocks so one two three three blocks so file a is occupied by these three blocks one two three so for each file we can have a single entry in the file allocation table uh, let us observe the second row so name of the file is b uh, whereas the starting block number is five so this is fit to black uh, whereas what is the length of the block what is the length of the file two blocks so five six one two say so these, these two are occupied by b uh, next we have one more row that is about c information the starting block number is eight as well as what is the length of the file two blocks so these two blocks are occupied by c so this is about file allocation table so file allocation table contains the information about the files which are stored in the hard disk uh, now let us analyze the advantages and disadvantages of this approach the first advantage of this approach is it is simple to implement why because we need only a contiguous set of blocks uh, and in those blocks operating system uh, uh, allocates space for the files so we can implement this approach in the uh, easiest manner and it is uh, best suited for sequential file so sequential file means the records can be accessed one by one okay uh, so if we have sequential file accessing uh, then uh, contiguous allocation is the best one why because uh, here also we are allocating memory in contiguous blocks sequential means accessing record by record okay so these are the advantages and the disadvantages are uh, uh, difficult to find the contiguous blocks okay so let us assume that uh, we need to have uh, 100 blocks okay so it is very very difficult to find out uh, 100 contiguous blocks at once so that is the first disadvantage here and the second disadvantage is external fragmentation 
so we know what is external fragmentation a uh, sufficient blocks are available in the hard disk but they are available at different locations the first two five blocks are available at once second bl uh, second five blocks are available at uh, once uh, third five blocks are available at one more location like that external fragmentation means sufficient free blocks are available but operating system can't allocate those blocks for the file why because those blocks are non contiguous okay so this is external fragmentation so this is the problem here uh, we, we know that uh, we can solve the external fragmentation with the help of uh, compaction uh, but compaction is very very expensive approach so in order to overcome these problems we can use as the second approach that is linked allocation now let's see the second approach uh, that is linked allocation uh, it is based upon the linked list uh, we know what is a linked list uh, here we can have uh, a collection of blocks uh, where in each block we can have a pointer field so the first block pointer contains address of the second block second block pointer contains address of the third block third block pointer contains address of the fourth block like that so we can say that uh, this approach is based upon uh, individual blocks uh, so let us observe this diagram so this is nothing but our secondary storage device that, that is nothing but hard disk here we can have 12 blocks from 0 to 11 so this is nothing but file allocation table uh, here the file allocation table contains three columns the first column is file name the second column is starting block number whereas the third column is ending block number uh, whereas in contiguous allocation in file allocation table the last column the last one is uh, length length of the corresponding file so how many blocks does it occupy uh, whereas here the third column is ending block number so here name of the file is a so what is the starting block number so this one so this one is the starting block number uh, whereas ending block number is nothing but 10 so this is nothing but our last block whereas uh, this one is nothing but our starting block okay so this block contains a pointer so this pointer points to the address of the next block that is nothing but fourth block uh, next this block contains address of its next block that is nothing but fifth block next fifth block contains a pointer it contains address of its ne next block that is nothing but ninth block next this block contains address of its next block that is nothing but tenth block so here what is the last block here 10 is the last block here so in this way we can allocate memory to the file with the help of a linked list uh, let's see the advantage here the major problem with contiguous allocation is uh, it suffers with external fragmentation uh, whereas here external fragmentation doesn't arise here why because whenever uh, there is a free block uh, then simply we can uh, establish a link from that block to <coughs> that block okay so there is no external fragmentation here and the second advantage is uh, it is best suitable for sequential file because sequential file means uh, we can access the records one by one so it is uh, best suited for that approach uh, let's see the drawbacks the first drawback is uh, here in each block we have to maintain a pointer so we need to store the pointer in order to store the pointer we require much amount of memory and the second problem is uh, it will take more amount of time uh, in order to perform the traversing uh, let us assume that here we have a linked list with uh, 100 blocks if you want to access the last 100 block then we need to access all its uh, previous blocks that is nothing but 99 blocks so for accessing it will take more amount of time so we can overcome these problems with the help of the third approach the third approach is index delegation uh, here it is based upon uh, index block uh, let us observe the file allocation table name of the file is a uh, index block is one okay now this block number contains the addresses of uh, all the blocks here if you take linked list then first block contains address of second block second block uh, second block uh, pointer field contains address of the third block third block pointer field contains address of the fourth block like that whereas if you take index allocation a single block contains addresses of uh, the blocks which are allocated for that file okay uh, so here uh, uh, this is nothing but index block so index block uh, contains uh, the block numbers which were allocated by the file okay so the first block here is 0 so for from 1 to 0 we have a, a link uh, next block is 3 uh, here what is the index block 1 so from 1 to 3 we have a link next block is 4 so from 1 to 4 we have a link 
next block is 5 so from 1 to 5 we have a link next block is 6 so from 1 to 6 we have a link okay so this is nothing but index allocation so it will take uh, less amount of memory uh, than linked, alloc linked allocation uh, let us see the advantages here uh, it supports both sequential and random files random file means uh, uh, we can access any block directly okay here index block contains all the block numbers so from 1 to 4 we can go directly so from 1 to 6 we can go directly whereas that is not possible in uh, linked allocation okay and the second advantage is uh, uh, there is no external fragmentation here why because there is no need to allocate the memory in uh, contiguous blocks and the third advantage is uh, whenever file size increases then we can easily add the new blocks to the index block simply we have to store the new block address in, in this block okay uh, so this is about uh, file allocation methods